Let's have a variation. Let's come back to real life. Let's come back to drama of life. Along with all the merriment and happiness of life, it is equally important to bring out realities of our existence. The moment it's time for our subsequent act, mercy, a heavenly blessing. Priya Abhivavagan, Daya ek Daivi gun hai, jis par sabhi dharmo ki roop rekha sthir hai. Daya ke bina koi dharm, dharm nahi rehta. Param Bhakt Tulsi Das ji ne isi tadhyo ko vyakt karte huye likha hai, Daya apne aap me hi ek bada dharm hai, jis ka aachiran karne se manushya ka atma vikas hota hai. समस्त हिंसा द्वेष वैर विरोध की भीषण लपटे दया का संस्पर्श पाकर शांत हो जाती हैं। दया परमात्मा का निजी गुण है दया सुधार का एक शक्तिशाली माध्यम है अपराधी भी मनुष्य ही होता है और उसके हृदय में भी दया बीज रूप से निवास करती है दया का दान सबसे महान दान है जैसे हम परमात्मा से दया की प्रार्थना करते हैं उसी तरह हमारा कर्तव्य है कि हम भी दूसरों पर दया करेंगे तो भगवान भी हम पर दया करेगा आपके आए दिन होने वाले अनेकों अपराधों को क्षमा करेगा एंड दिस इज द थीम ऑफ आवर नेक्स्ट एक्ट विलियम शेक्सपियर द ग्रेटेस्ट इंग्लिश प्ले राइट हैज एम्फसाइज द वैल्यू ऑफ मर्सी इन द ट्रायल सीन ऑफ द मर्चेंट ऑफ वेनिस The play revolves around a young man Antonio who borrows money from Shylock a cruel money lender and as per the terms of the bond if he fails to pay back the money Shylock would be entitled to a pound of flesh from Antonio's body Unfortunately Antonio fails to arrange for the money and the case is taken to the court Here Portia pleading for Antonio reminds Shylock and the judge the principle of natural justice which emphasizes on the value of mercy as against positive law Is Antonio here? Yes sir, I am here. I feel sorry for you. You have come to face a ruthless enemy. an inhuman wretch incapable of pity without any feelings of mercy they tell me you have done everything you can do to talk him out of what he is doing but since he remains adamant and there is no legal way to protect me from his malice i will just have to take what he will give me i am ready to suffer peacefully his cruelty and anger one of you go call the jew into court he is standing ready outside the door Here he comes my lord Shylock everyone thinks and I agree that you are just pretending to be cruel they think that at last second you are going to show mercy and pity and even though you are here to collect the penalty a pound of this poor merchant's flesh they think you will not only let it go But out of humanity and love you will forgive some portions of principle he owes you too. We all expect a nice answer from you, Shylock. I have told you what I intend to do, and I have sworn by the holy Sabbath to seek the penalty that is due according to our bond. If you refuse to allow me to do so, your city's charter and freedom are endangered. That's no answer, you heartless man. It does not excuse your cruel behavior. I don't have to give you answers that you like. How can you hope for mercy when you don't render any now? Why should I be afraid of judgment when I haven't done anything wrong? Many of you own slaves, which like your donkeys and dogs and mules, you used to perform awful jobs just because you bought them. Should I say to you, set them free? Let them marry your children. Let their beds be as soft as yours and let them eat the same food as you. No, you dare answer. The slave are ours. And that's just how I'm answering you. The pound of flesh I want from him was dearly bought. It's mine and I'm going to get it. If you refuse me, the laws of Venice have no validity. I await justice. So answer me. Will I get it? 
आई हैव द अथॉरिटी टू डिसमिस दिस कोर्ट अनलेस बलैरियो कम्स टूडे ही इज अ लीगल एक्सपर्ट आई सेंड फॉर टू एक्ट एज अ जज माई लॉर्ड अ मैसेंजर इज वेटिंग आउटसाइड विथ लेटर्स फ्रॉम बलैरियो इज जस्ट कम फ्रॉम पाजुआ ब्रिंग अस द लेटर्स कॉल द मैसेंजर इन Cheer up Antonio keep up your courage my friend i will give the jew my flesh blood bones and everything before you lose one drop of blood for me i am like the one sick sheep in the flock the one who deserve to die the weakest fruit drop to the ground first so let me drop besanyu the best thing you can do is to keep living and write an epitaph for my gravestone have you come from balario's office in padua Yes my lord Balario sends his greetings This letter from Balario introduces us to a young and well educated legal expert Where is he He is waiting nearby to find out if you'll invite him in With all my heart one of you go and call him In the meantime you read out the letter I have received your letter But I'm very sick at the moment. As it happened, when your messenger came, a young lawyer from Rome was visiting me. His name is Balthazar. I told him about the case of the Jew and Antonio the merchant, and we consulted many books together. He knows my legal opinions about this matter, and he has his own expert opinions as well. I'm sending him in my place. to answer your request for someone to act as a judge in this matter please don't underestimate him because he's so young i never knew such a young man with such a mature head i leave him to you when you put him to the test you'll see how wonderful he really is you hear what the wise and educated balario writes are you balthazar Did Bellario send you here? Yes, my lord. Welcome. Are you familiar with the case currently before the court? Yes, thoroughly. Which one is the merchant and which one is the Jew? Antonio and Shylock, both of you come forward. Is your name Shylock? Shylock is my name. Your case is most unusual though the Venetian law can't stop you from proceeding he has a claim on you merchant is it correct yes so he says do you acknowledge the bond yes i do then the jew must show you mercy on what compulsion must i tell me that the quality of mercy is not strained it drops as a gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath It is twice blessed. It bless him that gives and him that takes. It is mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throne monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty, wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above the scepter's sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of king. It is an attribute to God himself. an earthly power doth then show like as god when mercy sees and justice therefore jew though justice be thy play consider this that in the course of justice none of us should see salvation we do pray for mercy and that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy i have spoke thus much to mitigate the justice of thy play which if you follow the strict court of venice must need give sentence against the merchant here I take all responsibility of my decisions. I want the law, the penalty and the fulfillment of my bond. Can't he pay back the money? Yes, I am offering to pay it back right this moment, even twice the sum. If that's not enough, I will sign a bond to pay 10 times that much, and I will give you my hands, my head and my heart as security. If that's not enough, then you are just evil and malicious. I beg you just this once use your authority to bend the law do a great right by doing a little wrong don't let this devil have his way it must not be 
There's no power in Venice that can change an established decree. The change will be recorded as a precedent and many a bad legal decisions will result. A Daniel has come to judgment. Yes, a Daniel. Oh, wise young judge, I honor you. I pray you, let me look upon the bond. Here it is, judge. Here it is. The bond stipulates that if Antonio fails to repay 3,000 ducats within three months, Shylock will be authorized to cut a pound of flesh from any part of the Antonio's body which pleaseth him. Shylock, they are offering you three times the money you lent. But I made a note, an oath, an oath in heaven. Should I preserve my soul by disobeying it? No, not for all of Venice. Why, this bond is for feet, and lawfully by this judge you may claim a pound of flesh to be cut off by him nearest the merchant's heart. But be merciful, take thrice the money, and bid me tear the bond. When it is paid according to the tenure, it doth appear you are a worthy judge. You know the law. Your exposition hath been most sound. I charge you by the law whereof you are a well-deserving pillar. Proceed to judgment. By my soul I swear there is no power in the tongue of man to alter me. I stay here on my bond. I beg the court to deliver the verdict. Well, then here it is. You must prepare yourself for his knife. The law fully authorizes the penalty. Very true. Oh, wise judge. You're so much older than you look. So bear your chest. Yes, his chest. That's what the bond says, doesn't it, judge? Nearest his heart. Those are the very words. Yes. Is there a scale here to weigh the flesh? I have it already. Shylock, pay a surgeon to stand by and bind his wounds, lest he bleeds to death. Is that called for in the bond? Not clearly, but you could do so much for charity. I can't find it. It is not in the bond. You merchant, do you have anything to say? Not much. I am ready and waiting. Give me your hand, Bassanio. Goodbye. Don't be sad that this happened because of you, because Lady Luck has been nicer to me than usual. Usually, she makes the unhappy man live on after he loses his wealth, spend his old days in poverty. But in my case, is letting me avoid that misery. Send your honorable wife my greetings and ask her how I died and how I loved you. you speak well of me after I am dead and when the tale is done, ask her to judge whether Bassanio had a friend. Be sad only at the fact that you will lose your friend. Your friend doesn't regret that he paid your death. If the Jew cuts deep enough, I will pay it instantly with all my heart. Antonio, I married a woman as dear to me as life itself. But life itself, my wife and the whole world aren't more valuable to me than your life is. I would give it all up. Yes, I would sacrifice everything to this devil here to save you. Your wife wouldn't like it if she were here to hear you make that offer. We are trifling time. Please, deliver the sentence. A pound of this merchant's flesh is yours. The court awards it and the law authorizes it. What a righteous judge. What a righteous judge. And you have to cut this flesh from his chest. The law allows it and the court awards it. What a wise judge. Come on, get ready. But wait a moment, there's something else. This bond doesn't give you any blood at all. The words expressly specify a pound of flesh. So take your penalty of a pound of flesh. But if you shed one drop of a Christian blood when you cut it, the state of Venice will confiscate your land and property under Venetian law. <laughs> What an upright judge! 
Pay attention, you. Oh, what a smart judge! Is that the law? You can see for yourself. You ask for justice, so rest assured you will get more justice than you bargained for. Oh, what a wise judge! Pay attention, you. A wise judge. Pay me three times the bond and let the merchant go. Here is the money. Wait, the Jew will have justice. Don't rush. He is not getting anything except the penalty. Oh, Jew, what an upright judge this is! What a wise judge! So get ready to cut off the flesh. Don't shed any blood or cut less or more than exactly a pound of flesh. If you take more or less than just a pound, even if it is the tiniest fraction of an ounce. If the scale changes by so much as a hair, you die, and all your property will be confiscated. A second Daniel, a Daniel Jew. I have got you now. Why is the Jew waiting? Take your penalty. Give me my money and let me go. I have it ready for you. Here it is. No, he refused it publicly in open court. He will have only justice and his penalty. A Daniel. I keep saying it, a second Daniel. Thank you, Jew, for teaching me that word. Well, then I hope he chokes on it. I am not staying here to argue any more. Wait a minute, Jew. The law yet has another hold on you. The laws of Venice state that if a foreign resident directly or indirectly attempts to kill any citizen, the person he tried to kill will receive one half of the foreigner's goods. The other half goes to the state. Whether the offending person lives or dies, it is up to the duke. There is no one else to appeal to. In your predicament, you have earned that punishment because you have clearly contrived indirectly and directly to to take the life of the defendant. So get down on your knees and beg mercy from the duke. I want you to see the difference between us. So I pardon you even before you ask for a pardon. Half of your wealth goes to Antonio, the other half goes to the state. However, if you show a proper humility, I may reduce this penalty to a fine. Yes, the state's half can be reduced, but not Antonio's. No, go ahead and take my life. Don't pardon that. You take my house away when you take the money I need for upkeep. You take my life when you take away my means of making a living. What mercy can you show him, Antonio? If the duke and his court agree to set aside the fine for one half of his property, I am happy, as long as he lets me have the other half in the trust to give it to the gentleman who recently stole his daughter. I ask only two more things. First, Shylock must immediately become compassionate. Second, he must make a will here in this court that leaves all his property to his son-in-law Lorenzo and his daughter when he dies. He must do this, or I'll recant the pardon I just delivered. Are you satisfied, Jew? What do you say? I'm satisfied. Clerk, draw up a document to make his gift official. Please let me go. I am not well. Send the deed after me, and I'll sign it. Go, but sign the deed. We have just witnessed how mercy is an opportunity for each one of us to experience the joint gift of God's justice and harmony. So we say, leave and let leave. Now let me introduce Achyut as Duke, Aditi as Portia, Muskan as Nerissa, Aman as Antonio, Satyam as Shylock, Arslan as Basanio. Ankit as Graciano, Shiva as Salario, and Anant and Vabo as attendants. <laughs>